Most of the time when I'm meeting with folks and talking about their investments, they've never heard of what's called the Investor's Misery Index. And the Investor's Misery Index is two items, inflation and taxes. Both are made by human beings, so why can't they be mastered by human beings? And when it comes to taxes, that's where I see a lot of people go wrong. Sometimes I meet with people who have a medical condition and they pull all their money out of a retirement account to pay the medical bills. Unbeknownst to them, retirement assets are protected and you don't have to to pull them out to pay for medical expenses. In result of that, not only are you having to liquidate retirement funds, you're also paying penalties if you're withdrawing early and you're paying taxes, which is a double kick in the leg. And that can really sting. In addition to that, if you have assets only in retirement, knowing how to set yourself up for tax diversification could possibly help you save a lot of money once you start taking funds out of your accounts for your retirement or for anything in the future. In addition to that, if you're investing outside of retirement accounts, using strategies strategies such as tax loss harvesting, setting your accounts up to sell investments that have the highest cost basis first to minimize your tax implications are the little tips and tricks that aren't taught to people and large financial institutions aren't going to tell you that you need to do that before you sell something. And that's where working with an investment professional who has your best interest in mind could make a difference to help you ensure that you are paying your fair share to Uncle Sam, but Uncle Sam doesn't really need any extra tips from you. Not only is tax planning paramount to hopefully having more money when you retire, it's also important to make sure you're staying within certain tax brackets and taking advantage of possible mistakes fortune. For example, I was meeting with someone the other day and they were a little down on themselves because they lost their job. They don't plan on getting a new job until the next year. So we set up a strategy to start moving money from pre-tax to after-tax dollars while they're in a lower tax bracket to shift their money into a way where they can pay a lot less in taxes in the future. That's where working with someone like myself and 369 Financial can make a difference when it comes to planning for your retirement, tax strategies, and anything else that's related to wealth building.